studying the frictional force directions via bristles. A situation is given that a boy is riding a bicycle on the ground from the left hand side to the right hand side. The question is, what directions do the frictional force of the ground act on the front wheel and on the rear wheel of a forward-moving bicycle? The study found that the students have two groups of wrong answers. Group 1 answered that the frictional force of the ground acting on both front and rear wheels pointed forward because the frictional force direction is always opposite to the rotation of the wheels. Group 2 answered that the frictional force of the ground acting on both front and rear wheels pointed backward because the frictional force direction is always opposite to the motion of the bicycle. To have students visualize the direction of the frictional force, sets of apparatus for frictional forces in rotation are then demonstrated from a bicycle wheels with scrubbing brushes glued around their rims. Each wheel axle rests on a stand and is placed on a rubber belt. The driven wheel is set up as trolling. When the motor is turned on, the wheel rotates clockwise. The top surface of the rubber belt exerts a frictional force on the bristle's tips directed towards the right-hand side. The non-driven wheel is rotated when being pushed by the handle connected to the wheel's axle. When the handle is pushed to the right, the wheel rotates clockwise. The frictional force between the upper surface of the rubber belt and the bristle's tips causes the rotation. The bristle's tips move to the left-hand side with the rotating wheel as a result of the frictional force.